Right, I've just got time for a quick game of um, Blitz here. Not sure I'm going to play just one or two, probably not many. Right, 1684, good luck. Okay, that should be green there, my opponent's now connected. 1500 games, plays the Dutch defense, we'll just develop. Okay, so you might want to try and trap my bishop, so I'm just going to trade it before that happens. Yeah, I'm allowing this potential. Hmm. Just going to drop back there, just try and castle. Okay, I'm going to get developed there and guard the pawn. I probably should do this at some point. Otherwise, still try and castle. I'll probably stay king's side. Okay, so it's gone for opposite side castling. Wow. Hmm. I'm going to take the gamble. I'm going to castle. I'm going to try and develop and just um, chuck everything up the board. I think my opponent's going to do the same on this side. Knight, he hit the bishop and he goes back. So I don't think that's great. So I'll just try and develop. Now, do I leave this rook here as a question? To, I'll just sack the pawn to open the file. Hmm. I'm going to move the rook. If we lose the pawn, we lose the pawn. Yeah, I've got to watch out for these sort of ideas. Mm, he's going for the sack. I think I can hit the bishop now. Question is, at what point can I take? If he leaves it there permanently, at some point I can safely take it. It's whether I can run away or not or block the file. <clears throat> oh, so he's gone back there. So what about knight here now? If I take your take here, there's a bit of a problem. But maybe actually I can do it and just go g3. I'm going to take the challenge up. I just have to try and close this and he's going to try and get the queen down like this. So king up rook behind if I can. Oh, he's just blasting it immediately. Wow. Okay, it might be worth taking then. Although, knight here. Yeah, we hit the queen. So we're hitting the actual queen. We can maybe sack. I don't think he'll take here, but it's a safe primo if he does. So that's a check. Oh, now it should be over, shouldn't it? Just check here. Can't defend this now, I don't think. Hmm. Right, another quick game of Blitz. I'm not sure how many I'm going to play on this yet, but probably not too many. It's a bit late in the day. I normally play my chess a bit earlier in the day. Right, 16.80, good luck. Oops, that's my mouse control. Goes for an attacking Karo. I know d5 is still fundamentally the right move there, but I'm not going to play it. Or not yet anywhere. Okay, now I'll try and maybe close it down or develop. Get the bishop outside first. Now, of course, I've got to trade at some point, otherwise I'll get trapped. So now's the time to take. We'll play a c5. Um, yeah, let's castle. I can do either knight here, put this one here maybe, but no, I'm going to go here and maybe here. So now there's only one attack it. He's got that. I'm going to develop the rook first rather than pawn up. If he pushes, I'll probably go here. So he defends it. So knight up is a move. It's whether I want to try and bait him into playing a move like this, but it gives him tempo if I just drop back. Hmm. I'm just going to go here, maybe queen up for now. I suspect that's coming anyway, and it has. So do I gamble? I'm going to gamble and play f6. If I can do this and keep the bishop behind the wall, it's 
may be playable, we'll just see. And now I've got the option to push and try and close it down because he didn't take. But if I push any counter pushes, he's going to push here at some point, isn't he? So my gut feeling is to take there. Probably trade the rock. Oh, he's gone with that one. Okay, I'm going to throw a check in. Knight up might be a move next. Free move in case he takes with the bishop, otherwise I hit the knight and rook. I guess he's actually got queen across. I might have blundered. Hmm. I think I've blundered. He didn't see it. Oh, wait. Now can I take here? Take, take. Check. Takes. Is there really no good discovered check? Hmm. Gain a pawn, lose a bishop. Gain a rook, lose a rook. Wherever I pop the knight to, he's alright, isn't he? Hmm. Can't think forever. Hold on, I've got this. Hit the rook and threaten a check. Should win an exchange. Now, I've still got this idea now. And if he takes back now, then I go here. But he's got this now, hasn't he? Because of open down the diagonal okay he's got to see the check threat that's the key so he has seen it so we take so i'm going to line up the same idea just to grab a pawn and he can't take with this pawn because of check so he hasn't seen that or he's missed it if he has so I'm going to take, I cannot pre-move this because he doesn't have to take back, of course. I could pre-move this one. So we take. Now that's covered by the queen. I can trade queens if he goes there. He's gone right across. So I'm going to offer to trade the knight for bishop. So now we have a target. Can I get to it? Not quite. So I'm going to maybe double the rooks up. Okay, I've got to be a bit careful on the clock here now. So he's come forward, hits the pawn. I'm going to just push it forward. That's kind of covered, but very dangerous if he gets here. If he pushes, I'm going to try and counter push. Again, try and restrict this bishop. If he takes, it gets rid of the bishop. Okay, grabs the pawn. Let's throw in a check. Activate the rook if we can. Again, still dangerous this. No obvious easy way in. Queen back, maybe rook up. So we guard this twice, we're pressuring the pawn, no direct threat, maybe rook across and get his rook off the board. I think I can play this, and then if he takes with a king I've got to check. So he has to block with a queen I think, and then I'm going to run the pawn. Well see these are a big danger, but I can sack a rook for one of them as long as I can queen. Um, yeah, just queen there. And that's covered, so it should be winning. Okay, we get the win. Well, I've just got time for one more game of um, Blitz here. Nearly a thousand players playing in this now, the Daily Sub Blitz Arena, 1956. Good luck. Again, I'm giving my opponents good odds playing this a little bit later in the day. I don't normally. Mm, okay, let's just develop. 
I guess it's a surf primo, otherwise we castle. Mm, I'm just going to take. Actually, let's play an early c5. I often try and develop, but... Okay, he's gone back. So we'll remove that knight. Where do I want to develop to? I'm going to maybe bring the knight this side of the board. Otherwise, just try and get the bishop into play if I can. Okay, let's play up and just try and develop the bishop. Now we have the option to trade bishop for knight. Oh, he's gone for it. Wow, I didn't expect that. Can I just take here? It was a pawn he took, wasn't it? Yeah, he's taken a pawn. So take, take here. And he's got the deadly knight down. So if I take here, he takes, I take, queen takes. I think I have to take here. Ooh, okay. I'm going to take and block then. Can I possibly defend this? Is queen up a move? And rook behind or something like that? Very, very aggressive what he's played in it, but might well work. I didn't even consider that move. Can I even play a move like king across? But what's the point? So if I grab a pawn, rook across, queen back. I mean, I'm going to have to take it. I can't leave it. Then I'm hoping I can just drop back if he goes across here. Obviously, well, that queen is not easy to shift now. So I need the rook somewhere over here if I can. Not sure which is the best square. So he's gone there. So I kind of have to go here, I think. Yeah, if he comes here, I can take it. I think. I can't take there because he would have a rook check. So I just want this rook somewhere over here, if it's possible. But boy, this is tough, isn't it? Bishop here is a little bit difficult. But I guess I just bring the rook across, and if he takes, I take back. So he's gone there with his rook. So I guess we challenge the queen. And maybe try and pop the bishop here. Maybe. But if he ends up with a queen behind the rooks, then obviously my pieces are more vulnerable. Yeah, that's a safe pre-move. I don't think he'll do it. Well, he has allowed the trade, though. Which should be good for me. Doesn't mean it is, but the knight and the rook cover this. I can block it with both pieces as well. And I'm a piece for a pawn up. Give my king a bailout square. Okay, so we've got a potential emergency square. Now I can try and unwind, but exactly how do we do it? I guess we just double up for now. Now if the knight moves, I'm suddenly creating a counter-attack knight here, maybe. He's getting low on time now. So pawn forward. So what's wrong with just knight up to hit the pawn? Just hit the pawn, attack it three times, defend it once. And then we're going to attack the next pawn. Okay, we'll just wait for the clock to run down now. So we managed to get the win.